the doctor told me that it was a stage two B, HER2 positive cancer. The thought of waking up and finding my hair on my pillow was, um, it was just too scary. I didn't want to look sick. I didn't want people to feel sorry. So Edwina did some research and came across a device few Americans are familiar with. It's called scalp cooling, and it has a high success rate in preventing hair loss during chemotherapy. If you cool down the hair follicles, their metabolism slows down, so they may be less sensitive to the toxic cell-killing effects of chemotherapy. By simple cooling of the scalp, you cause vasoconstriction, or the blood vessels actually get narrower, and you deliver less blood to the hair follicles, and therefore less chemotherapy. But there was a problem. Each session came with a pretty heavy price. Most insurance companies do not cover the cost of scalp cooling, but now there is an organization that is making it accessible to those who can't carry the cost. It's called Hair to Stay. I wrote to them and I explained what was going on, and right away they wrote me back and they gave me a 60% subsidy for my cool capping, which was amazing because I was able to keep my hair and feel normal throughout this horrible moment of my life. Hair to Stay was the most wonderful organization to come across in the middle of my diagnosis. They responded to me immediately. They helped me right away. They made it so easy to get their help. And they checked in on me all the time to see how I was doing with my treatment. They were wonderful. I cannot thank them enough. I wouldn't have been able to do this without them. My name is Stephanie Abrams, and I produced this video. I also used scalp cooling when I went through chemotherapy for breast cancer last year. Keeping my hair enabled me to continue working during chemo and maintain a sense of normal during one of the most trying times of my life. Every $1,000 we raise helps Hair to Stay subsidize one more cancer patient so that they don't have to lose their hair. Just go to our website, and thanks for helping cooler heads prevail.